and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. When you created a camera track like this one here and you jump out of the camera, you see that the camera is in the scene origin here pointing towards C at frame zero, which means that the whole scene is aligned somewhere in 3D space. But of course we want to align it in a way that it makes more sense, like that this is the ground plane and we also want to scale it properly. So here's how you can do that. Let me jump back to look through the camera here. And the way how you can align a scene is via constraints. You can find the constraints here if you are in the motion tracker layout or under tracker constraints. And the first thing we want to define here is the origin of the scene and we do that by creating a position constraint. So let's use this and just define the point that you want to use as the scene origin and I want to use this one here. So let's click this one. Now it is linked up and the coordinates are set to 0, 0, 0 in X, Y and Z. And the next thing I want to do is to define the ground plane. We could also define the wall here, but I want to define the ground plane. And to do so, I will create a planar constraint. And the planar constraint asks for three inputs. So I will use this one, that one, and let's say this one. And the axis should be Y. So right now we already have got an alignment with a defined ground plane. So everything that's left now is to define an axis. And in this case, I would use X because X is parallel to this line here. So let's create the last constraint here, which is gonna be a vector constraint. Let's create this. And the vector constraint asks for two inputs. So let's select two objects that are parallel to this line, like this one here and this one here. And then let's define the axis, let's say X. And in the vector constraints, we can also define the length of this vector or the distance between these two points here. So let's set this to known. And let's say the distance here is around 70 centimeters, like so. And now you see that the whole thing makes much more sense. Even if we jump out of the camera, you can now see that the scene is aligned properly. And if we scrub through the timeline here, you can also see that the camera moves accordingly and that you can now start placing 3D objects in your scene. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.